Hello friends, today we're going to be creating a smoothie, an anti-aging smoothie. And who doesn't like that? We all want to try to be our healthiest and look our best for as long as we possibly can. And this smoothie is going to help you not only reduce those signs of aging, but also give you tons of energy. The fruit that we're going to be concentrating on and its benefits is going to be grapes. Grapes are known to reduce the signs of aging. They also help keep your bones strong. They help with infections and they're great for if you have constipation and it helps to regulate blood pressure. Of course, these are just a few of the benefits that you'll get from this smoothie, from this, from grapes. So let's not waste any time and let's start creating this delicious smoothie. The first ingredient that we're going to be using is bananas and I'm going to be putting in three bananas. Remember, you want your bananas to be ripe, so make sure that they have spots in them, on them. If they don't have the spots, then do not eat them because if you do eat them when they don't have the spots on them, then you're going to get constipation or you're going to have a very upset stomach and you don't want that. You want to try to have good digestion and you want to feel great and you want to have tons of energy and you want to help your body to function the best as it can. So make sure you eat the bananas when they're ripe. The next ingredient that we're going to have is the grapes. And I'm going to be adding these purple grapes, but you can be adding or you can add any kind of grapes. It doesn't matter what type of grapes they are, what, what color they are, I mean. And one cup of the grapes is what we're going to be using. Then we're going to be using two cups of spinach. If you don't have spinach, you can use any green that you like. I'm also going to be adding dates. I'm going to be adding three dates. I do recommend that if your dates are the dry, if they're pretty dry, I, I recommend that you soak them in water for an hour or two. This will help them to get soft and it will help them to taste sweeter. Then lastly, we're going to be adding two cups of water. Of course, you can add more water or add less water, depending on how you want your smoothie. If you want it thicker or not as thick. So then you want to put all these ingredients. Of course, you got them in the blender. So you want to blend them up and blend them until you get the consistency that you want. Once blended, that's it. Your smoothie is ready for you. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know if you have any suggestions of smoothies that you would like for me to make videos on or any special fruit. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I will see you guys on my next video.